I thought we played just a, a, a fantastic game. I mean, it started on the mound with pitching. It's outstanding, a lot of strikes. Defense behind him was outstanding as well. Turned a couple double plays, made all the plays that pretty much uh, you expect our team to make and maybe a couple you didn't expect. We, we did a great job. And then offensively swung the bat extremely well up and down the lineup, got production one through nine. Um, I think everybody might have had a hit today or a couple. And just, uh, just, a, just played a really good ball game. Coach, uh, Courtney Mims, Pig Trail Nation. I just want to talk about Connor with you. Obviously, his performance in the postseason has been incredible. You know, how has his – what he's been able to do set the tone for postseason play? Well, that you said it. He set the tone. He sets the tone for the whole weekend. You know, when you get to these tournaments, you got to win at least three the first round and two the second round and obviously – maybe five total here. So for him to pitch like he's pitching game one and give us a chance to rest our guys and and feel good about using, you know, our bullpen a couple of times, really from maybe the sixth or seventh inning of his first outing on three times in a row, it's been big. And, um, you know, he wants the ball. He's, you know, he's not going to go out there and blow you away, but he knows how to pitch. And we like it when other teams are hitting it and we're fielding it. Okay. Dave Andrew Hutchinson with hogbeat.com. Is it the best you've seen Connor this season? And also when he's going out there throwing seven, five pitches an inning, were, was there ever a thought about maybe letting him try to go the whole whole distance? Well, first question, I, I don't think it's the best I've seen him. Um, he's had he's had maybe a little better stuff a couple of times, but as far as competing, uh, the temperature, the stage we're on, you add all that up and probably – Nothing's been better, but just as far as the stuff coming out of his hand, it's been a little better here and there. But I mean, it was really good, and it was pretty much located. And uh, I mean, that's a big, strong, physical team, and you know, it's 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 hard to keep them down. Hey, Kendall, there he is behind you. Kendall Rogers, D1 Baseball, DVH. What are you just like seeing differently from this team and just their overall approach the last three weeks? And and just from your standpoint, have you kind of taken the the stance of kind of like hands off almost a little bit with these guys, given the given the experience? Well, what I've seen from them is a team that you know was disappointed how the regular season ended, and once we got into postseason play, uh, I just felt like the team they didn't want to fail. And they they took a step forward, got over all the the negativity, and just said, "Hey, we're gonna we're gonna fight you to the end, and hopefully it'll go our way." And uh, I mean, offensively, I've seen us uh, hit the ball in the middle of the ball a lot more, hit the advanced runners, move runners around, use the whole field. Um, we had a bunch of backside hits today, sack fly. You know, I mean, we. We're running a pretty good offense right now. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but as far as hands off, I, I just try to give them some advice on how to handle everything, you know, uh, whether it's the regional or the super regional or even up here. Uh, but as far as, you know, changing anything, not really changed much. Maybe just the way we start our pitchers, you know. Other than that, it's same old stuff. We did make an adjustment in the lineup, flipped it, and, it, and it's worked. Tom? Hey, Tom Murphy again, ADG. What's it like when you're, the depth of your order is showing up like it has in the postseason, which it wasn't right at the end of the season? The second part, Robert Moore, uh, I think he reached base five consecutive at bats. Could you just maybe speak to when he's going, what that does for you? Yeah, I mean, you know, hitting's, hitting's really hard. And, you know, sometimes you just go through a period where it's not going your way. Other teams pitching well, maybe you're a little tired. I mean, there's, there's a lot of things that play into it because we don't just play once a week. We play a lot. We play a lot of games. And I've said this before, you know, that, that maybe just someone who watches baseball a little bit, they don't understand why you get beat by teams you're supposed to beat or you lose on a Tuesday night because you're not playing all your guys or whatever. It's because we're trying to make sure that we have guys ready to play at this time of year in, in some cases. Um, what was your second question? Uh, more. Robert, great day, three walks, double, single, 
And then he, even his ground out advanced two runners with no outs. So it was a, a very productive at bat, at bat. That's what we're trying to do right now. Um, he's hitting in the six hole, a switch hitter, hitting after Lanzilli. Uh, it's, if we can keep him going, it's, it's, it's big. And you can go on down the lineup a little bit more. That It's a lot of production. But if Robert's going, it, it really helps us. Okay, here Joe Healy with Baseball America. Um, with guys like Chris and Michael transferring in, older guys, how do you go about kind of doing the evaluation of fit for the program in this specific team? And then what has allowed them to fit in so seamlessly with this group? You know, the way it all went down with both of those guys, uh, let's, with, with Lanzilli, number one, Coach Hobbs had been around him for a year when he was coaching at Wake Forest. So we knew what we were getting. And for the most part, as far as makeup, you know, I mean, the baseball, you see it, you can watch video and go watch 100 at bats or whatever you want to do. Um, with, with Michael Turner, we, we did a lot of evaluating of his catching to see if he could catch first. And it was all done on, you know, with the computer, just watching pitches, how he catch? And we graded him out really high and he didn't catch all the time. Thought it was a little unusual when we made contact with him. We knew he could hit. And, uh, but we needed a guy that could catch as well and maybe catch more than hit, honestly. And, uh, you know, did a little, made a few phone calls and did a couple Zoom calls with him and his parents. And, uh, you know, he told me, basically I remember he told me, he said, you just, you just give me a chance. So his people weren't beating his door down to take him. And uh, that was a pretty good move by us, taking him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey, Noah. Noah Darling, CWS 247. Coach Musselman was in attendance this afternoon. Can you just kind of speak to the family atmosphere at Arkansas in terms of it seems like everybody's always supporting each other. Did he have his uni on? <laughs> he didn't? Oh, I'm going to have to talk to him about that. Workout. I think he had workout clothes on. Yeah, figures. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like our, our athletic department is, is uh, it's a fun place to work right now. I mean, sports are winning. I feel like that uh, the coaches – all support each other. I mean, you know, I think Hunter's in here, so I'm not going to say too many nice things about him. I think I'm smooching up to him or something. But, uh, I mean, he does a great job. It makes everybody feel, uh, you know, like that they're important and uh, their sport matters. And I really believe that they all do. And it's fun to, to see football, basketball, soccer, softball. I mean, it could go on and on, just playing really well and winning. And we've had – I know last year was incredible, and I think this year may be even better, which I didn't think we could ever beat last year is how many championships that we won. And uh, it starts at the top with Hunter and, and his staff. Justin Anchor, 1037 The Buzz. Uh, Coach, your defense has been good all year, but in the postseason you guys have been making all these incredible low percentage plays that you know, most of the time don't get made. Um, I'm just curious about the preparation, what you guys do. I mean, and obviously you got some talented guys in there, but uh, it's pretty magical what's happening defensively right now. We have good players, obviously. Uh, the infield has been solid all year. The catcher's solid, center fielder's solid. Uh, I mean, the outfield has been good. When we get to it, we catch it. And, uh, you know, you just, at this time of the year, you just don't do too much. You just don't wear them down. Uh, we've changed up some things lately as far as our pregame routine. You know, we don't take a lot of ground balls. Some days, if we take ground balls when we hit, we don't take pregame in and out because why do you need to take free game in and out? Um, and I talked to the players about it a little bit. You know, today I, I talked to the infielders and I said, hey, this is what I'd like to do, but tell me if you don't want to do this. I don't want to take all the ground balls during, before batting practice starts. Let's just take a few. Uh, you know, we have a routine that's normally pretty intense. And we didn't do that. I said, but I want to take in and out. And they were all about it. And, uh, you know, so we mix it up a little bit. But I listened to them, you know, because – they're the ones playing. It's 95 degrees or whatever. Yeah. Okay. In the back, this will be uh, Mitch. This will be our last question. Uh, Mitch Sherman, the Athletic. Uh, Dave, um, last time you saw Stanford, um, you uh, had not been through the SEC grind, um, and I know it's oversimplifying to say that that was the difference in in the, in the two scores. But um, how much of an impact? does that have on your kids, especially your young kids, to have been through that this year and, and you know, get to this point in the postseason? I think any coach, I mean, there's a few teams from the SEC West here. And uh, 
they'll all tell you that going through the league prepares you for anything you're going to run into. It doesn't mean you're going to win, but you've you've seen it before, whether it's big big time lefty with velocity or right hander with a plus slider. And I mean, you're going to you're going to see it. Off offenses like Stanford, I mean, they're really good. And and you know, they beat us early in the season and and they 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 out toughed us that day, honestly, and and we saw it. Uh, it was really cold. I didn't like the way it went. Uh, we threw a freshman with a really good arm, and they got all over him, and it didn't go real well. We lost five to nothing. It felt like it was ten to nothing, honestly. And uh, we had to play a game after that in that same temperature, and we found a way to win. And but we walked out of there. We limped out of there a little bit, going wow. And uh, we thought Stanford probably doesn't think we're very good. And uh, because we didn't look very good that day. And, you know, today's score got out of, out of hand. And I think Coach Esker was – he didn't want to say it, but he threw some guys that they, they wouldn't normally pitch. Those last three innings, we scored 10 or 11 runs. So you can take those off the board a little bit. Uh, he's trying to, you know, get through this where, where we may play again. So uh, I have a lot of respect for him and his team. And uh, that, that was a – you know, that was – you know, like Chris said, we're just, it's all about us right now. We just, we're just trying to stay focused on what we can do and do well. And Partners at Bet Online continue to be the number one source for all your betting needs and sports info. Find all the latest sports developments, including updated odds on the NBA playoffs, fights, and even next season's futures. And don't forget that the MLB is back as well. Who are you picking to win the World Series? Bet Online is your continued source for all your sports wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite. Favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started. So head to the website today or use your mobile device to join and use our promo code BELIEVE, that's B L E A V, to receive your 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts.